If we go back 25 years, uh, the incinerator industry told everybody that there were only two choices. There was incineration or landfill. And we said, wait a moment, there's a third way, and that's recycling and composting. And they said, oh, no, 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 no. You can only get a little bit of recycling and composting. And, but what they did do then was they tried to co-opt recycling in particular. Composting, they, were, they knew that composting was a huge threat to incineration. They tried to co-opt recycling. Now, come forward 25 years, the politicians are recognizing that the people in Italy want zero waste. They've heard zero waste. The activists have heard zero waste. So the danger now is that we could be co-opted again and we can get these mongrelized definitions of, of zero waste. Uh, we have people that are, that are even suggesting that uh, you could have incinerators and zero waste. We have Florida, Florida that has more incinerators than any other state in, in the United States, talking about 75% uh, reduction, which they can't have with all that incineration. So the whole thing is being corrupted. It's being corrupted with the same magic machine approach that yes, we will do what we can with recycling and composting and reuse and repair, but let's be practical. We need the magic machine. We need the biodigester. We need the gasification plant. We need the incinerator to take care of the residuals. It's really important that everybody in Italy gets on the same page as to what zero waste really is. And zero waste says you don't get rid of the residuals in a magic machine. Zero waste says you've got to study the residuals and use the residuals to, make, to bring the issue to the front end of the problem with better industrial design. And the message is simple. If we can't reuse it, if we can't recycle it, if we can't compost it, then industry shouldn't be making it. That's the, key, the key, key message. Now, my own way, very practical way, of competing with these people with the gasification and the bio, big biodigester and the incinerators is to say the nexus between community responsibility and industrial responsibility is the residual screening and research facility. Now what I'd like to do, what I'd like to suggest is that all the people in Italy that are really genuinely concerned about zero waste, who really see zero waste as a key stepping stone to sustainability, really wants to involve universities and, and everybody with these, these things, let's get together. Let's make sure we have a conference somewhere in Italy in January of next year. Let's have a couple of months to, to get this done locally, but then let's get all together nationally to have a zero waste conference which defines zero waste so it can't be co-opted by politicians, corrupt politicians or consultants who are going to, um, you know, uh, cop out on us. So that's what we need, I think. And I, I'd be happy to come to Italy in January. We can come up with a date sometime in January to do that. And the, the place is up for grabs for me.